with, with some counting breaths. So if you can't get your inhalation or exhalation as long as I'm offering, that's okay. Just do your best. And it's really about observance anyway. So we'll start off and we'll count from one on the inhale and go upwards. And then we'll exhale counting one backwards. All right, so when you're ready, taking a deep breath and then exhale two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now just do a couple on your own counting. In yoga, we call this pranayama. It's a mindful breathing. And there's all kinds of pranayama techniques, but the simplest way to do it on your own throughout your day is to count in and out, just kind of observing, is it easier to inhale or is it easier to exhale? And then just see if you can work on lengthening your exhalation, which is really good for relaxation. And we'll open our eyes, take your right arm out to the right side, spread out your fingers, and then we're just gonna lean and reach to the right. And then bring it back in. We'll do a couple of these, reach out, we're putting weight into your right, hip and come back, reaching out and over. And then we'll bring the right hand back to your lap. Take your left arm out and we'll do a couple to this side. We'll reach over here to the left side of your room. Bring it back and reach over. And then we'll bring the left hand back. Sit nice and tall in your chair. Turn your right hand forward so your thumb's facing away from you. We're gonna inhale the right arm up as high as it'll let you go. And then exhale the right hand down. Turn your palm facing you and then inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Turn the palm forward, inhale out to the side, right side. Exhale down. Inhale forward. Exhale down. You can, you can also do these, these same poses standing if you would rather stand. Inhale up, exhale down. One more round out to the side. And exhale down, nice and smooth. And then one more to the front. And exhale lower. 
Rest your right hand on your right leg. And then turn your left hand, your left thumb to the left side, palm facing forward. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale down. Hand turns towards you. Inhale up the center. Exhale down. Out to the side. And down to the center. And down. Let's do a couple more. It's trying to get longer. Reach up a little higher each time. We'll bring this arm down, return it back to your lap. And then we're gonna move the shoulders forward and back. So just kind of shimming one shoulder forward. You can slide your hands on your legs. You can add in turning your neck. And do a couple more on each side. Notice where you're feeling the work in your body. Good. And now we'll slow down and bring both hands to your knees. Tuck your head in and bring your shoulders up. Round your back so you feel a little bit of stretch in your upper back. And then lift your head up and your shoulders down. Slide your hands to your hip creases. Even pull down your shoulders and bring your elbows towards your ribs. And then we'll do that again. Round hands to your knees, chin in, shoulders forward. And then slide your hands back, heart forward. A couple times moving your spine, your shoulders. Remember this practice should feel good. You should be no pain. If there's pain, then just back off. Very nice. And then come back through center. And then we'll take our hands down off of our legs. And then we're gonna inhale both arms up. As you inhale, lift your heels off the ground, take a big stretch up. And then exhale, float both arms down as you lower your heels. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, we smile. <sighs> inhale up. Exhale, lower. Three more. It's all about the breath. Last one. Relax the shoulders. Take a second, feel your buttocks sitting in the chair. <laughs> And then we'll bring our arms out to a T. We're gonna take a couple twists. Take your right hand to your left shoulder and your left hand behind you. Turn to the left side. And then come back out to center. Take your left hand to your right shoulder, right hand behind you. And center. Twist to the left. And center. 
twist to the right, and center to the left, center to the right, one more to each side. And center. Lower the arms to your lap. Bring your chin forward and your shoulders over your knees. Try to stretch your low back here. See where you can find just a little bit more space. Feeling it right there. Maybe in your legs some. And we rest, trying to control our breathing. So if it got faster, we started to pant, nice slow down of the breath. And then when you're ready, we're gonna use our hands to help lift up our torso. Push your hands into your legs, bring your shoulders back. Lift up your right knee and then set it back down. We're gonna do a couple of these, lifting the right and setting it down. So a little rocking motion in your, your chair here, just the right knee. Ooh, my chair's a little squeaky. And then we'll set down the right leg, sit tall again. And then we'll move to the left knee. You're gonna lean back, lift the knee, and then set it down. So just bringing the knee towards the chest and a little rocking forward and back motion. Seems pretty simple, but it works your abdomen pretty good. And then one more and lower your left foot, sit nice and tall. Slide your hands to your knees, come back into a flat back. Maybe you can go a little lower this time. If you want, you can toe heel your feet out wider so your belly has a spot to go in between your legs so you can get lower. Breathe in and out of your nose, unless it's stopped up. Now inhale, press your hands into your knees, lift your torso, and then bring both arms up to the sky, stretching up, nice big stretch up. And exhale, bend your elbows, bring your elbows in towards your ribs. And you should look like a little cactus arms or winged bird. And then inhale, reach them back up again. Exhale, elbows in towards your ribs, head lifts up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, comes down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your elbows towards one another. Make an X with your arms. <laughs> Bring it across your chest. And then we're going to lean forward, tap your elbows to your knees if you can, and then come back up. So again, working your abdominal muscles, tap if you can, and back up. Make sure your feet are really stable on the ground. The back up is where you're building strength. So if you go nice and slow, you actually use your muscles. You're not just using momentum. Momentum makes things easier. Slower is harder. <laughs> so I always have to tell that to people who think fast is the best. It's not really the best always.
You're doing great. Two more. Last one. Come up with a smile, open your arms out, bring your hands behind you so your chest can come forward. And then drop the hands back to the behind the chair or the seat of the chair. Lift your sternum up, bring your head up, bring your shoulders down. Squeeze your shoulder blades in the back. Very good, chin to chest and relax. We're gonna toe heel our feet out. So you're coming into a wide stance, the knees out. And do some cross body work. So take your left hand out to the left side and bring it to your right knee, tuck the chin in, and then inhale, open the arm back out. Cross it over, left hand to right knee, chin in, inhale, lift up the arm, you can even follow your left hand, and bring it back. Always do it with a smile, makes it feel better. <laughs> One more on the side, take your time. Lower your left hand to your left leg. Sit tall. We take the right arm out this time. We bring it up and over across to the left knee. Tuck the chin in. Inhale, open the arm back out. Exhale, right hand to left knee. Inhale, open it out. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and we'll lower the right arm this time. Slide your feet in just a bit so you feel stable in your legs. Sit nice and tall. Take three conscious breaths here, kind of stabilizing everything. All right, now we'll take our arms out to a T. And we'll bring left hand, right hand again, make your X shape. And then we're gonna circle around. Your feet and your knees and your hips are all anchored. Just your upper body is moving. Then circle in the other direction. And come back through center, stretch your arms out to the side. And we're gonna take the left hand to the left leg, right arm up and over for a side stretch, nice big stretch here. And then windmill, right hand down, left arm up. And we do these all the time, the lovely side stretches for the body. Just take your time, move and breathe at a pace that 
feels comfortable for you. One more on each side, please. And when you finish, just rest your hands, one hand on each knee. Lean forward, bring your belly in between your legs and breathe through your nose. Very nice. Gently lift yourself back up. And we're going to work some of the inner thigh here. Take your right hand to the inside of your right leg, your palm touching it, and just stretch down. Maybe you can touch the floor or your top of your right foot. And see if you can draw back your left shoulder. Maybe even put your left hand behind you. And slide back up your leg, left hand goes to the inside of your left leg, right hand maybe goes back, drop down your left arm to the inside of your left leg. And slide it back up. We'll do the right side again, right hand slides down your right leg, left shoulder goes up, maybe turn your head to look up. And then we'll switch it out. Left hand slides down, right shoulder goes back. And back through center, bring both hands to your knees, lean back, lift up your feet, circle out your ankles. <laughs> Good, lower your feet back down. And then we're gonna lift the right knee up, bringing it towards you and lower it a couple times, just kind of working the hip joint. And we'll set the right leg down, lift the left knee up, lift and lower it. Nice and easy. Good, both feet down. Inhale the arms out to the side and up, make a big circle over your head. Interlace your hands if you can and flip the palms up. So you're pushing the upper arms by your ears and then exhale, lean forward, bring your arms out and your belly in between your legs. Inhale, press into your feet, reach your arms back up. Exhale, lean forward, stretch forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, up. Two more, exhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale forward. Inhale up, release your arms, bring them behind your back and weave your fingers back together, roll back your shoulders. And then take your right ear to your right shoulder, stretching out the left side of your neck. Just breathe. Lift your head back up. Switch your grip on your hands. Keep them interlaced, but just switch your grip. And then lean your left ear to your left shoulder.
Lift your head and back up, release your arms, roll shoulders up, back, down and forward. Just nice gentle shoulder rolls. Good. Now take your left hand and place it on the back of your head. Sit to the edge of your chair if you're not already and lift up your right knee and point your left elbow to it and then set it down. Cross over, back real slowly. doing it. The exhale is when the elbow points to the knee. The inhale is when the elbow points behind you. Think of all the lovely calories you're burning. One more. <sighs> Let's rest. Hands on your lap. Sit nice and tall. Take a rest. You can feel different sensations after movement in your body. Just get curious about it. Your body heats up, blood pumps a little faster. When you breathe intentionally, you're sending more oxygenated blood throughout your body, which is good for health immunity. When you're ready, take your right hand to the back of your head. We'll do the left knee this time. So you're going to cross your right arm, right elbow comes forward, lifting up your left knee and set it down. Take your time. Do as many as you like. This is why it's not good to eat breakfast right before yoga. It's harder when you just ate. <sighs> we'll do two more here. And then back to a rest. And gently begin to toe heel your feet together or close together. They don't have to touch, but close together. So it feels like you're in a good um, stance to stand up. So press your feet into the ground, lean forward, and we're gonna come up and then sit back down. We're gonna help yourself up and then down. Oh, my chair's so squeaky, sorry, if you can hear that. And then up. As we get older, getting in and up is, getting down is one thing, getting up is another thing. So we just practice putting weight into our legs. All right, now when you're done, just have a seat, rest for just a second before we come to our standing postures. Again, just catch your breath. It sounds so simple, but a lot of what we're teaching in a yoga practice is self-regulation. Notice and to observe and make better choices. That's it. It's not too complicated. All right, when you're ready, we'll come to standing next to our chair. Come to the, I want to start on the right side here.
All right. So have your left hand on the back of the chair rest. And just take a moment here to relax your shoulders. See if you can squeeze your knees and feel all the muscles right here in your quads. So squeeze the knees. It'll also activate your glutes. So tense up the legs and then soften your legs. Again, squeeze in, tense up your legs, kneecaps will rise, and then relax. Slight bend in the knees when you're relaxed. And then squeeze the legs again. And relax. Two more times. This is just activating the muscles in your legs. And soften. One more. Squeeze, let everything hold in. And relax, very good. We're gonna step your right foot right in front of your left foot. So right heel is in front of your left toes. See how that feels? You can stand in a little balance here. And now see if you can take your arms out to the side. Left hand can hold onto the chair if it needs to. So we're doing a little balance. Now, can you step your right foot behind so now that your right toes are behind your left heel? And then can you bring it back forward again? Can you bring the right heel in front of the left toes? So your left leg is really active here. Now take your left hand back to the chair if it's in air. And reach over. So you should feel a nice stretch on the right side. My right foot is still in front of my left. If that doesn't feel good, adjust your right foot. Nice and slow, lower your right hand down. And lift your right knee off of the ground, your right foot off the ground. Right knee comes up. Again, we're trying to balance here. So shoulders are relaxed. And you can see if you can bring your hands to prayer or maybe just one prayer hand today. Let's see if you can stand on your left foot. It's a little wobbly. And when you're ready, set it down. Maybe shake out your left leg. And then we'll walk around to the other side. So we'll move to the left side of your chair. Pretty much do the same sequence on this side. So we'll start just squeezing the thighs and relaxing them. Squeezing, kneecaps roll, come up and relax. You can't really tell, but everything, when you squeeze in, all the muscles tense up. That's just understanding that our muscles can be Contracting. And now relax and soften the legs. So keep the legs soft. Hold on with your right hand to the side of the chair. And then bring your left heel in front of your right toes. And then see if you can take your arms out and balance. Chairs there if you need it. Soft legs, don't tense the muscles on this one. And then very easily step back your left foot behind your right heel. And then try to bring the left foot in front again. Bring the left foot behind. Bring the left foot in front. This time, hold onto the chair with your right hand. Inhale, reach up and over your head with the left arm. And exhale, lower. Lift up your left knee. 
Flex your left foot as if you're standing on something and then try a little balance. How's your breathing? When you're ready, set it down, shake off your right leg. Good. Now you can stand directly behind your chair. I'm gonna stand to the side so you can see me. And we're gonna do a couple little back bends. So walk back, but just as far enough that your hands still touch the back of the chair. You're gonna lean forward with your hips coming towards the chair and your shoulders going away. Keep your chin tucked, this is good for your back. If you're finding that it's pinching back here in your low back, just widen your stance. That'll help relieve some of the tightness. And if it hurts, just don't do it. We're finding that a lot of people are really enjoying this pose. They really like the back bend, but not everybody. So you take care of yourself. Do one more here. And then walk your feet back and come into a downward facing dog so that you have your arms out straight in front of you, your hips behind you. Let you feel a nice stretch through your arms, your back, and your legs. We're going to move into a crescent warrior neck. So lift up your head and step your right foot to the chair. Now, what I want you to do is to squiggle back your left heel or left foot, bringing your left heel off the ground. So my back left heel is stacked on top of my toes. Right knee is bent. We should feel a little lunge here. Then you can sink down. And then you can straighten your knee and sink down. Be careful. You don't slide. Couple just stretching out the legs. See if it hurts your knee, don't do it. Okay, now we're going to go into a twist. So I really like this one. Bend your right knee, keep your left hand on the chair. Swing open your right arm. So trying to turn yourself to the right, feeling a nice stretch here in your right side. Gorgeous smiles. There you go. Take the right hand back to the chair and step in your left foot back to the top. Then we'll breathe here. Now we'll walk back our feet back into downward facing dog. Close your hips behind you. And slowly lift up your head, stepping your left foot forward. Right heel is going to squiggle back so that your right heel is off the ground. Left knee is bent, and we'll just take a couple lunges here. Bend deeper into your left knee. And then ever so gently, we're gonna lift the left hand off of the chair. Right hand's gonna anchor us down and twist to the left. Now take your left hand back to the chair. Step your right foot in back to just standing nice and tall. Good. Now hold on to the chair with both hands. We're going to rise up onto our heels, come up at our kind of come 
into just a little bit of a tippy toe pose. And then exhale, bend the knees, drop the hips into a little squat. And then inhale, straighten the legs, lift your heels up. Exhale, lower the heels, squat. And just do a couple, you'll feel these. These are great for leg strength and balance. You're hearing a little crackling in your knees, so am I. <laughs> oh boy. One more. Ah, and rest. Let's make our way back to your seat when you're ready. Next, we're going to do our pigeon pose for a hip opener. You can cross at the ankles or you can cross over the knee. So if you like, you can put your left ankle on top of your, I mean, your right ankle on top of your left knee, or you can crisscross down at your ankles. Once you get where you would want, like to be with your left shin, your left, I mean, your right leg, right leg. And Sit nice and tall so that your spine is straight, so that when you lean into it, you don't round, so that you keep the back straight. And see where you start to feel a little bit of sensations. And try not to force it, but just go to where you're starting to feel something. Don't have to go very far for most of us. Take three more breaths here. And then lean back and we're gonna take the left hand to the right knee for the twist, turn towards your right side. Bring your left shoulder forward. And come back through center. Release your right leg. Shake it out. And then let's do the other side. You don't have to do the same thing on each side because one hip might be slightly different than the other. You can put your ankle, your left ankle on top of your left knee or crisscross down by your feet. Again, start with a straight spine. Relax your left foot. And close your eyes and lean forward just a bit. Practice breathing in and out of your nose, nice and slow. And ever so gently lift yourself back up and take your right hand to your left knee, left hand to the back of the chair or reach it out behind you and turn to the left.
And turn back through center and shake out your left leg. And now sit to the back of your chair if you're not already and just straighten out your, well, my legs can't go straight because my feet won't touch the ground. <laughs> but depending on how long your legs are, we're going to start with our hands down by our side. You're going to inhale, reach up. As you exhale, lower the arms, but lift your feet. So inhale, feet go down, arms go up. Exhale, feet come up as your hands come down. Flex your feet in the air. Inhale, reach up, lower the feet. Exhale, feet come up, hands come down. And just practice a couple breathing. The inhale is when you're as long as you can be. The exhale is kind of squeezing in your abdominal muscles when your legs come up. Do two more. And then lower the hands to your lap, close your eyes. Scratch your back on the back of the chair, kind of just move a little side to side. Hopefully you've got something soft back there. That'll feel good to just massage your back. And then move to a comfortable shape. If you would rather move to the couch or something nearby to lie down, you can. And I thought today we'll do a little gratitude meditation. Let's sit comfortably with your body relaxed. And say these things to yourself. I'm grateful for having a roof over my head. I am blessed to have people who love and care for me. And I'm happy and I'm able to freely follow my dreams. I'm blessed to live in a world of beautiful nature. I'm grateful for my friends and my family. And I'm grateful for today that I can choose to be any part of my life that is not working, I can choose to make it better. I'm thankful that I feel good about myself. And I feel gratitude for my health and my happiness. And when I express gratitude, I bring more amazing things into my life.
Take three more conscious breaths here. And start to rock your head. Making small movements again. And stretch out like you're good morning. Wake up, stretch. <sighs> In our practice with this great um, prayer of gratitude for all that we have received in this lifetime. And we also send warm wishes to those who are struggling. May the world be full of peace and kindness. Namaste.